All right, so I had a Being the New Human class this morning, and we talked about the space between again, which at the core of the teaching of the space between, it is the space that the consciousness is in when it is transitioning or considering leaving its current life that it is experiencing. So most of humanity would call that right before death. And so the space between that we were referencing in the class was this understanding of this space that the consciousness goes to. Now this can happen when a person has a near-death experience and or goes into a coma or, and there's actually a lot more here as well, which we're gonna learn about, we're gonna teach about, we're gonna go deeper into, because the consciousness of the human is ready to do so, many of the humans. So here's something else though, in that class, and that's on Patreon. So anybody who's interested in getting these understandings in these classes, that's my Patreon platform. There's a link below and you can join my Patreon and be in these class spaces with me. So in that class this morning though, we had that discussion and then we began talking about all of the spaces between, all of the spaces of you, of me, of us. So, meaning that as we navigate our lives, we go through different spaces of our consciousness. So, the, the being I am right now and the way that I perceive my experiences, my thoughts, my feelings, is different than the being I was a year ago, 10 years ago, 10 minutes ago. So, there's space between all of those alignments of my consciousness as well. So this is a vast topic, but what I want to touch on is this understanding that in the class I was talking about how some people are really in a perceptional belief structured mindset that they have to go back to they have to talk about, they have to analyze, they have to feel with every part of their being emotionally these spaces of trauma or pain or suffering in order to heal them. And that discounting emotion is not healthy. And that is, that is a reality line that anyone has the right to align with. And you've heard of the term, the dark night of the soul. You've heard of the term where the shadow self. And so what I am offering you is the understanding that there is an alternative. There's many alternatives, but there is another way of doing your expanding healing work. And that is through amplifying your focus on your wholeness, amplifying your focus on your higher consciousness, amplifying your focus on your eternal light, amplifying your focus on your being in the spaces of your being in which all of these higher alignments, if you will, are. And the reason why I say that to you is because, and we'll just give it one moment here, all right? The reason why I say that to you is because I in the class this morning when I was teaching, I was giving examples and someone chatted in and asked a specific question about when do the emotions go away? Do you always feel them? You know, when you have these spaces or experiences that are more difficult and uncomfortable, will you always have them? Do they ever go away? And so we went into a whole discussion on that. And one of the things that I realized afterwards, which is right now, is that in the class I said, some people have to do the dark night of the soul, some people have to do the shadow work, some people are so keyed into that belief structure and that programming of that's the way it has to be done that they aren't going to heal until they do it that way. They've set themselves up for that alignment with the way they believe. Now I renamed it 
the enlightened day of the soul and I created a technique called walk back. So for people that have to do that, I have a higher dimensional way you can do it. Why? Because it's quicker. It's not gonna stick you in a cycle where you're just gonna keep on reliving and redoing these darker, denser spaces. But there are many people who don't need to do that. They don't need to. The minute they find out that they are sovereign and they are whole and they are eternal and that just by knowing that all those past spaces get healed if you have the understanding that that is truth. And again, you need to know thyself. Yes, you've heard the saying, know thyself. You need to know thyself. If your being doesn't believe that, then it won't work for you. But if your being believes that you don't need to go back, you don't need a dark night of the soul. You don't need an enlightened day of the being. You don't need a walk back. You don't need shadow work. If you believe you don't need it, if you believe by focusing on your wholeness and what's right and what's good inside of you, that you will inevitably heal you by implementing new ways of reacting, responding, and being you, you will heal you, then you will. And here's why I know that. Here's why I know that. I began a healing journey for my own being in 2006. And I basically revamped my entire life over many, many years. I was the mother to small children. I had a day-to-day -day job every day, responsibility every day, physical 3D life, like people say, yes. And I revamped my entire life by revamping me. And I didn't do it by going into my shadow. I didn't do it by feeling my worst spaces. I'm not saying that that's not an okay space or a right space or a good space. I'm just saying I didn't do that. I amplified my focus on what I am in my entirety. I amplified my focus on consciousness, on eternal light, on wholeness, on my holiness, on my divinity, on my complete oneness with source, with God, with goddess. I amplified my focus of that space of my being, not what was wrong with my being, not all my negative emotions. Whatever you focus on will expand. If you need to focus on them while you heal them, that's fine, but it does take a different route because of the way of the energy of focus is anchoring a different experiential alignment. So the healing can either be aligned with the density of all of the spaces that are daunting and uncomfortable and traumatic or the healing can be aligned with the vibration of your wholeness, your eternal light, your higher self. So you get to choose what you align your healing process with and you get to anchor into that and you get to experience from that. So I needed to make this video quickly and get this information out to you. There's no wrong way of being you because you're going to choose the path that you need based upon your belief structure and allowing you and trusting you is your biggest power point so figure out who you are how you function what you truly believe and either be willing to change your perception and your belief if you want to align with a different type of method or accept your belief where it is and then grab that method, own your sovereignty and bring healing to your life. All right, any questions, comments, feedback, please let me know. I am honored to walk with you. I love you, I love you, I love you.